so guys uh, right now i reach to kodi beach and uh, this kodi beach is uh, just 6.8 kilometers from uh, kundapur and yeah this beach uh, looks same like uh, uh, what we say maravan there because this is very lengthy beach there are no curves it's just a stretch uh, from that point to this point come to this beach you have to take a left turn if you are coming from uh, udupi kundapur and from there you have to take a left turn you will find the location in uh, google map which is very accurate hathi mat palo this bike is like hathi only it's that heavy 400 meters uh, take right sorry left I think there is a coffee shop uh, somewhere ahead. 200 meters take left. 140 meters take. Okay. I think 80 meters. 60 meters, 50, 30, 40. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, Google, stop, stop, stop. I will go. This is the route I know. another uh, 3.9 kilometers wow nice concrete road yeah like madhavante only so yeah it took 14 minutes to reach here and it was 6.7 kilometers hmm save your parking yes finished so right now i follow the google map so i am here exactly and in this 6.8 kilometer distance you will find three schools one hospital Yes. I can't imagine only for every 1 km distance there is one school. Sorry guys uh, for the uh, stopping vlog over there because uh, in my one hand I had my helmet in my another hand I had my camera and this camera is almost 1.5 kg uh, heavier. So what happened was uh, I started feeling pain in my arm. So I had to drop my camera. I mean I had to shut it down. Sorry guys for that and uh, check out this uh, beautiful uh, view of this country boy and look at my baby <laughs> I need to carry this helmet everywhere because I have camera and expensive helmet I cannot keep it anywhere and check out this view this is what I was telling this is very lengthy bridge starting from there and uh, it goes up to there I mean uh, as you can see over there is a small hill it goes up to there and there is a diversion and look throughout that land there are no cross it's straight like uh, maravante beach wow i was uh, checking that uh, i mean that school the students who study in that school are the luckiest ones because who gets the chance to study near the beach right <laughs> and yeah if they get bored they can uh, peep from the window and uh, their mind gets refreshed 
so it's nice to see uh, people are building uh, schools near the beach and also it's a good marketing tactic also and yeah it looks nice over there and also over there is the wind fan but it's not rotating i don't know why Whew, yeah and i will sit here for some time and uh, will chillax So guys, uh, this completes my Kundapur expedition. Yes, I have covered three places. One is uh, Upinakudzu, it's an island. And another one is Kodi Beach and another one is Maravante. So three of these places I will be creating a playlist called uh, uh, places to visit in Kundapur, such like that. So yeah, after creating a playlist, whoever wants to visit Kundapur, guys, please do share with your friends and tell them to subscribe to my channel. It uh, helps me a lot. So yeah, finally living now from uh, Kodi Beach. I mean, uh, Kodi Beach means it's a place uh, called Kodi. So here is the beach, and uh, yeah, government is. Uh, taking initiative to improve these beaches as you can see over here they have installed benches two are facing towards the road and the rest of the benches are facing towards the beach and also they have installed a, a rock so these are called rock barriers so in order to avoid uh, the seawater hitting the soil in order to avoid the soil erosion so let's uh, leave now from here and right now the time is around 4.30 it will take another 2 hours to reach to Manglo so yeah we'll continue our journey so you can guess from here itself I told you right the beach is uh, very straight so this road is also very straight there are no curves it seems like uh, Maravante very lengthy beach but very beautiful spectacular view I wish uh, I could have stayed till uh, the sunset but uh, uh, it's already late I need to reach Manglu by 7.30 otherwise it will take a lot of time if I live here at 7 o'clock I will reach Manglu at 11 so it will be very hectic then there will be a lot of traffic also and look oh, these are the huts wow so this is one uh, small hut there are many huts these are the fishermen house i think this is a uh, pakka village life but very peaceful <laughs> 